Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Talk Sports in South Jersey. Today on the show, we will be covering the National Football League Playoffs, NBA Basketball, NHL Hockey, and NCAA College Hoops. Time to recap the Divisional Round. The Philadelphia Eagles won 15-10 on Saturday against the Falcons in Philadelphia. Jake Elliott got three field goals in the game and won this extra point. It was 6-3 Philly, then 10-6 Atlanta, then Jake Elliott came on and kicked the three field goals he needed, and Philly won 15-10. The New England Patriots won 35-14 over the Tennessee Titans on Saturday. It was a blowout game. The Jacksonville Jaguars took on the Pittsburgh Steelers in Pittsburgh on Sunday in a rematch of Week 5. It was a crazy game. Jacksonville led 21-0. Pittsburgh rallied, coming back from 21 points down. Crazy game in the second half. It was back and forth all the way around. And Jacksonville ended up winning the craziest, 45-42 in Pittsburgh. The Minnesota Vikings won 29-24 over the New Orleans Saints on Sunday as Stephon Diggs caught a game-winning touchdown pass with no time left on the clock. The Eagles will take on the Minnesota Vikings on Sunday in Philadelphia. Now, time to preview the championship round. Sunday at 3, Tom Brady and the pass take on Blake Bortles and the Jags in Foxborough. At 6.30, Nick Foles and the E-I-G-L-E-S Eagles take on Case Keenum and the Vikings in Philadelphia. The Philadelphia Flyers are on a four-game winning streak. They went on the road to take on the New Jersey Devils at the Prudential Center on Saturday, and they won by a score of 5-3. to three. They will take on the Toronto Maple Leafs on Thursday in Philadelphia. They are at the halfway mark of the season. Do you know what that means? It's a time that the All-Star break comes. The All-Star break is fast approaching. The Philadelphia 76ers are at 500 as they won against the Toronto Raptors by a score of 117 to 111 on Monday. They almost blew a double-digit lead, but they were able to hang on for the win. They will travel to Boston to take on the Boston Celtics on Thursday. Now let's move on to some college hoops. The Temple Owls suffered a tough loss to Memphis on Saturday by a score of 75 to 72 in overtime. They will take on Tulsa on Wednesday. Then they will take on the Pennsylvania Quakers at the Palestra on Saturday. Fight, fight, fight for the cherry and the white. The Pennsylvania Quakers continue their long homestand as they will take on the Temple Owls on Saturday. The Battle of Pennsylvania. Can Penn get their fourth consecutive win? The Villanova Wildcats are on fire as they won at St. John's by a score of 78-71. to They are 16-1 on the season. The world trip continues in Washington, D.C. as they take on the Georgetown Hoyas, and then they will take on the Connecticut Huskies in Connecticut. Nova! 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 The St. Joe's Hawks lost a near buyer to Massachusetts by a score of 72-69 on Sunday. They will take on the Dayton Flyers on Wednesday, and then they will welcome in the Fordham Rams on Saturday. Can St. Joe's break their losing streak? The Drexel Dragons are on a three-game losing streak. They lost to Hofstra 91-66 on Saturday. They will take on the Townsend Tigers on Thursday, and then James Madison comes in to take on Drexel on Saturday. Can Drexel break their three-game losing streak? That is it for now. Just remember to check out my radio show, Let's Talk Sports, air Saturday nights at 5 o'clock on Victory 1460 WIFI. And if you missed Saturday's show, you can also listen to my podcast through my Facebook page at Stefan Sports Radio. Talk to you soon and keep those comments rolling. Go Eagles!